You can't Google real estate without reading headlines about crash. When is the real estate market gonna crash? Or see YouTube videos all about the worst market, worse than 2008, worst crash, real estate crash, everywhere. But my question really is, are we headed to a crash? Are we in the middle of a crash? When will it crash? Well, in today's video, I'm discussing the current local housing market here in Sarasota and Manatee counties, and if we're in the middle of a big crash or about to be. First, if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as hit the bell so you will be notified when I post new videos, which I do regularly. I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts, and my team and I love helping so many people buy, sell, and invest in real estate here in Sarasota Manatee counties. So do you believe we're in the middle of a crash? I'd love to hear your thoughts below, leave comments. So I do not believe that we are in the middle of a crash at all. I also get a little tired of all the so-called experts constantly using the crash to sensationalize the housing market or to fuel fear and uncertainty in the housing market. Now I can say I have worked through the great recession and what we're experiencing now is nowhere near what we went through. It's very, very different. And working through 2008 through 2011, well, that was an experience. And could it happen again? Of course it can. Is it happening right now? No. First, there's one key statistic that we always need to watch, and that is inventory levels. Here in Sarasota and Manatee counties, our inventory currently sits at about 5,500 homes, which this does include all of our single family, villa, townhomes, and condos. Although that number is significantly higher than last year, as that it's up 166%, it's not really a bad number at all. Even though that sounds like a lot of homes compared to last year when we had 2,000 homes on the market, Keep in mind, during the worst market of 2011, we had about 14,000 homes on the market. So 5,500 is not a lot. And between the years of 2016 and 2020, which were very good stable housing markets, we averaged about 7,500 homes on the market at any given time. Another key element when it comes to inventory is when do we normally have the highest amount of homes on the market throughout the year? And that usually peaks between February and March, which is exactly what we saw it doing this year as well. As you can see here on this chart that the inventory started to decrease just a little bit here in April for the April numbers and continues to do so. Now last year, of course, the inventory numbers grew in April and throughout the rest of the year. And and it absolutely needed to. But are we still growing in inventory exponentially? No, not at all. No! And also keep in mind that we do not have a lot of inventory when it comes to new construction. In our area, builders have very little inventory. And this is very different than it was during the Great Recession as builders have way too much inventory. And builders are pretty cautious right now. They don't want homes sitting there. They want most of their homes to have a buyer and be ready to go. But moving on, what about prices? Are prices still rising or are they dropping? The short answer is yes, they're still rising, but not in all areas. Our average sales price in April is 614,000, which is down just 2% from April, 2022. 614 so far is the highest average sale price for 2023. Now, I believe we're gonna remain steady over the next two and three months, and I think we're gonna be in that 610 to 620 average sale price. Now, I could easily give you a list of neighborhoods in town that have been losing values and others that are still gaining values. One such area where values have not receded at all at this point is going to be in our condo buildings located downtown along the Sarasota Bayfront. The demand for luxury condos in the heart of Sarasota continues to skyrocket. Most existing condo buildings have units priced close to a million dollars or more. Many of our brand new buildings that are underway could not get in there without starting at two million or higher. Now a few other popular neighborhoods that seem to be retaining very high resale values does include Palmer Ranch neighborhoods or a number of them 
also west of trail neighborhoods, as well as Rosemary District and Gillespie Park. These are all still seeing prices rise a little bit. Now, a few neighborhoods that I am seeing homes sit on the market a bit longer or taking large price drops, well, some may surprise you. For instance, out on Longboat Key area, right along the beaches, some of the homes are starting to decline in value, particularly those homes that need a little bit um, of updating or do not have a pool. They seem to be sitting on the market much longer than they did a year ago. Now, a few other very well-established neighborhoods in Lakewood Ranch seem to be losing a little value, such as Summerfield and Central Park. What we're finding here is that these are a little bit older neighborhoods without many amenities. And so many people moving into the area or even people that are living in these current neighborhoods are moving to some new neighborhoods that have state-of-the-art resort amenities, larger pools, recreational activities, workout facilities, and things like that. Now, this is a very tricky market to predict, and truly the prices really fluctuate from neighborhood to neighborhood. So, is this a crash? No. But could it happen? Absolutely. You'll have to keep watching to find out what the market does next month. Now, if you'd like more information on neighborhood pricing and what is happening here locally, be sure to watch the best and worst neighborhoods video next. Also, reach out, give us a call, let us know how we can help. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.